Okay, I'm going to quickly just explain your assignment. You guys are going to download and open this project file, which is actually a little boy's pair of jeans, um, but that's fine. So, um, but you can really design whatever customer you want in mind. It doesn't have to be meant for kids. It can be meant for adults as well. It can be men's or women's. I don't really care. Um, but what you are going to do is you are going to add top stitching and puckering um, to the seams. So you get to practice um, with our segment top stitch tool, the free sewing one, the seam line top stitch, all these different little tools. And then as well, same with the puckers as well. Um, this does work very similar to the various sewing tools, how we have segment sewing and free sewing. So hopefully this will get you guys more practice in just using Clo in general and, and how it operates. So really challenge yourself and make sure you understand the difference between using the segment tool versus the free tool, okay? So we're gonna add top stitching along the waistband, along all of the belt loops, um, all of the seam lines, the hem, just like any other pair of jeans. You're also gonna go into your property editor and you're gonna choose what color top stitch you want. You're gonna set the distance, you're gonna add thickness, you're gonna do play with all the little tools. Um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and watch the videos from Clo where they really dive deep explaining every little thing. Then the next thing you're gonna do, you are gonna design a pocket, a like an embroidered back pocket. This is actually an activity I did a lot when I worked in the apparel industry, working for various companies that sold denim, um, you know, just to kind of make it stand out, they would have some kind of design on the pocket. So you can't really go straight to your top stitch tools. Instead, you are going to get practice with the drawing tools and the internal line. So you'll probably hit the letter G and you're gonna draw some kind of cool design. So get creative. Um, again, this is kind of where it matters who your customer is. Are you designing this for you know, a boy denim pant, a girl denim pant, or an adult male, adult female, or whatever, no gender. Um, so make sure you kind of have it a customer in mind as you do this little creative part. And then the technical part is actually using the internal draw tool. So for example, if I click and drag, you know, I get my handlebars out so I can do some curves. Um, and you'll probably want to think of a design before you actually start drawing it. You hit return when you're done you can always switch back to the letter Z tool, which is your edit pattern tool. You can um, move around individual anchor points, just make sure only, you know, each anchor point selected, not the whole thing. You can even play with your handlebars and you know, kind of clean up the design the way you want it. Um, you can even, um, you know, maybe you play with some of the smooth curve or edit curvature or you know, the V, all of these little tools just you know, there's tutorials, you can sit and, and listen to what they do, or you can just try them out yourselves, explore, see what happens. You always have your history um, panel to go back to if you do something weird. Once you have a design you like, which hopefully is a little bit more interesting than what I just did, um, you are going to go ahead and add top stitching to it. Um, so you would do seam line top stitching. Oh, not seam line, I'm sorry. Segment, I guess uh, you could do free sewing or segment sewing, honestly. So maybe I should do the free sewing one. So I say click. Da, 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 da. Oopsies, come back. Oh, there we go. And click. Okay. And then now it's going to add top stitching. You can add all of your details, you know, or maybe you created some um, default ones up here. Um, okay, so that's your assignment. When you're done, um, I would encourage you to go ahead and render it. I know we haven't dived in deep into the rendering, but if you go up here to render, you can just click render and play with those defaults and it will come up with a nice picture for you. Or worst case scenario, you can also um, simulate. And once it's simulated, because it's simulated, we want to see what it actually looks like in the 3D window. And you could take a snapshot of it to turn in as well. Okay, um, so reach out and let me know if you guys have any other questions.